Hey, good morning from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. If you want to know what I've been doing for the first couple of days on my own with Mills Transfer, stay tuned. Hey, good morning everyone. I just had to pull over and show you this. Excuse me, I don't know how well this is going to come out or not, but it is a beautiful sunrise here in Iowa over the cornfield. So let me switch the camera around. So I just had to capture this real quick and show you guys. But I'm um, 218 heading towards... I'm heading south towards the third road. And uh, it's a two lane road down, two lane road back. And I figured I'd pull over real quick and show you guys this. But uh, yeah. I'll be at my final in like 500 miles. Beautiful morning here from Iowa. Hey everyone, welcome to the bedroom. I'm in the back of the truck. I'm on the bottom bunk now. Not on the top bunk anymore. That's my storage stuff. But, down here on the bottom. But yeah, hey, uh, a little recap of what's going on so far. I am here in Memphis, Tennessee. And let me tell you where I've been. Uh, handy dandy little notebook here. So I came to you last. I was waiting to get loaded in Springfield, Ohio. Um, I was only there an hour and 20 minutes. Loaded me up about 43,000 pounds of white vinegar. I took that up to Eclair. Wisconsin yesterday uh, dropped that off about noontime and had a pre-plan about 90 miles I think it was let's see 89 miles or so to um, La Crosse Wisconsin I ran down there and um, got a load of Mike's Hyde Lemonade uh, dropped my empty picked up that loaded one this one's about 44,000 pounds and um, I ran that down to Cedar Rapids, Iowa last night and shut down at uh, Casey's General Store. We had about 587 miles, I think, yesterday. And um, shut down there and then um, got up this morning bright and early, 5 o'clock, and ran down here to Memphis. Got here about, about 4 o'clock Central Time. And um, my appointment's not until 5 a.m. So I went in and I guess this place will unload you early and load you early if they're available, if they have a door available. So that's what we're waiting on now is to um, get into a door and then get reloaded and then I'll probably shut down for tonight because I only got an hour and 42 minutes left on my 11 and um, I only got 10 hours left on my 70 for the week. I'll be running recaps for another week or so. So um, I'll shut down here, run about nine hours tomorrow, back up to probably see his Cedar. Rapids, Iowa, and then I'll take this load in Saturday into La Crosse and see what dispatch has for me after that. So, um, hey, 23, oh, right now it's 15.55 for the week, um, and uh, after I run back up to La Crosse, it'll be um, about 23 something, I think, 23.59 or so, give or take, so, hey, um, so that's the update so far. So, see how long it takes for us to get into a door. Good evening, everyone. It's almost 9 o'clock. I just walked up to, um, walked inside, I should say. Got one truck, one Millis truck in the door. Another guy just went in. And, um, yeah. So they got one, two three, four, five empty doors, and they're telling me, they don't know when they're going to get me in, and there's another four trucks to know here, so, um, yeah, might be a 5 a.m. appointment, so, they told me to hang on, wait, they said it wouldn't be before 11 at least, so.
So, I don't know. Keep you all updated. Alrighty, everyone. Doing a little cooking in the truck right now while I wait. I'm on the keto diet now. So, hopefully I'll drop 20 or 30 pounds, if not more, by this diet. But, tonight, in the little frying pan, we got some burgers and onions and grass-fed butter cooking. We're going to put some pepper jack cheese on there. And mustard only, no ketchup. That ain't keto. But, yeah, that's what we're cooking in the truck tonight, this Thursday night. 9.15, hanging out in Memphis, Tennessee. Oh, waiting to get unloaded. Hey, good evening, YouTube, from uh, Williamsville, Illinois. That's at 109 off I-55. Here at the Loves. So yeah, figured I'd do a little update, out for a little evening walk. Just got my shower done. I gotta walk down this way. There's a swift truck trying to back into a hole and I'm gonna give this guy props. I've seen him get up about 30 times so far. Make sure he don't hit anything. Poor bastard. But um Yeah, so left off last night. We are in Memphis. Uh, at 2.33 this morning, got a phone call saying, hey, put her in door number 19. Well, that's what we did. And um Geez, she's got plenty of room. Plenty of room. The other side is a little, a little tight, but this side is good. But anyways, I uh, put it in door number 19. I went back to sleep. Uh, about 3.30 I woke up to the forklift and back to the truck. And off and on for the, for the next hour or so, until about 4.30, they um, were unloading me. And then... Um, fell back to sleep and my reload appointment was at 6 a.m. and so I'm like sweet they get me in early my unload was supposed to be for 5 a.m. awesome I'll be out of here by 7 well ooh, that's bright well that didn't happen I woke up about 7 30 quarter of 8 looked at my pressure gauge they hadn't side loaded me so um, oh I went back to sleep had a headache this morning so How about 8.30, 9 o'clock, I felt the truck rumbling, and um, they um, reloaded me. Took them until 10.33 to call me and tell me that they were, um, I was loaded and I was good to go. So um, by the time I got the paperwork, got out of the dock, slid the tandems, made it all good, I, um, I don't know what this guy's doing. Turn around. We're a dead end road here. Oh, Swift made it in. So, yeah, anyways, um, by the time I slid the tandems, got everything situated, got the paperwork, it was about 11 o'clock, went and scaled the load. Um, everything was good. I was only like a couple hundred pounds difference between the drives and the tandems, so I left them. It's a 4,400 pound load of. White Claw, I guess some hard cider or something from what the packaging said. And taking that back up to La Crosse, Wisconsin. Yeah, parking lot's full now. Taking that back up to La Crosse, gonna drop that off early. I guess it's not doing until Monday, but I'm gonna have it up there tomorrow. I'm only six and a half hours away, like 320 some odd miles, so. That'll be a short little run up there tomorrow. Dropping my dispatcher, William, got me pre-planned already. I'm heading back to Memphis with another load of beer for Monday morning at 8 a.m. unload. Excuse me. So, that's the plan. Drop, hook, head back south. And um, today I drove about seven hours because I'm setting recaps tomorrow. So I got three hours left over in my 70 from last week, or this week I should say. Uh, previous week and um, drove about 416 miles so gotta add some to three days because I only had like four hours and three days coming up so I got nine and a half in the next two days so if I can steal an hour from both days um, we'll be doing pretty good for that fourth for that third day I should say so I should be up around eight hours I can drive on Monday 
So, I'm gonna go cook some dinner, then go to bed, and then get up about 4.30 when my clock resets and head her for Wisconsin. So, till next time, guys. This is recorded after the fact. This is I-39 northbound in Illinois this morning. I made up to La Crosse, dropped my trailer, picked up my loaded trailer, and headed back south. I am now shut down at exit three on 90, just into Illinois. So have a good night, everyone. Thanks for watching.